Hi, this is Norway. Uh, <clears throat> it's been a while. Uh, I've been uh, busy. <laughs> but this uh, bargain bead box for April, uh, I have got two boxes, which I have an unboxing video on, if you want to see that. This went like a charm. <laughs> I mean, this was a really... Um, I'm getting good at, good at this, I think. Um, or better, of course. Because I'm a seed beater and I started in 2020, 2020 January what was my first box. Uh, the first ones just did not look like anything. <laughs> I mean, if I <laughs> just strung and still not cool. But um, I'm getting there. That's what I'm saying, that I'm improving. This is one of the necklaces. And this is like a double, um, a double... What's it called? Double focal and a little bit dangly. I really like this on. This doesn't have a clasp. It's um, <clears throat> um, you know, I um, I put up a studio in my hall, you know, <laughs> where I come in. So um, I must ask for your patience again, cause I am uh, the lighting is off. Uh, I get shadow. It's as bright as here as if the sun were up, but you know, I am, um, yeah, it all needs a little bit tweaking. But if I don't start now and I'm doing a video, I don't think I'm going to be bothering. I don't know. It's just, I am, um, you know, if you get that um, stuckness, I've taken this video before and then I started to uh, edit it and then I just, oh, uh, my, let's just do it again. So let's move on. I love those donuts. I love these big ones. I I I think that <clears throat> copper, you know, anti-copper, which this is not, of course, <laughs> not that bad of a lighting. Uh, I think that's a beautiful um, finding color for for some some colors. But this one you can have with anything. I think you can you can even even use pink like this kind of pink in um and and wear it <laughs> with with sparkle and stuff i mean really i think this is a layered one and i think i will layer it layer it with um I'm, what i'm excited about is that i'm actually starting to make jewelry that i want to wear <laughs> you know that's uh, awesome I'm not sure what I will later layer it with, but that's at least the first one. And here I've used, this is from um, these bead caps here. I adore them for what I call cheap, <laughs> cheap crystals, you know, because you get this uh, cone kind of look. And, um, and uh, I uh, bought them in uh, this pack from typically panda haul but I did it on Aliexpress where uh, where you have um, a ton of different from big to small to but you know you, you usually use up all of these before you want to but you know just buy more packages they're not that expensive I um, haven't finished off here with the uh, crimp but I will I have it ready um, and <clears throat> this is like like I said, overhand and um, and these beads here, these are I unboxed it with the five strand I've got from AliExpress. I was I'm so so happy with the quality of this. The shell beads. There's another. It's another video. <clears throat> I don't know where, but um. Anyways, uh. These are gorgeous and so beautiful to use. So I have uh, added on several of the colors. I, I think I took all the three strands and then there's gray and dark gray, which I will for sure. I'm on my way to use to some, something else. And breathe, Melissa, breathe. <laughs> and um, I was gonna start making an earring here. Like, take that away, let's focus. Let's breathe and focus. I'm excited to be in my own room. You know, I have, I have the whole whole apartment. But you know, there's something special about you know. I lost. I had this big bead room uh, in my old apartment, and I had to downsize here. But you know, it's all about prioritization. 
So I started with the smaller of this on the tiger tail and then I figured out how great doesn't it look with one on the outside. And then I figured, well, that's a little bit heavy for one ear. That's like me and, and high heels now. I mean, I, I, I rocked them in my 20s and teens, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore <laughs> to myself. So, so that's the same with, uh, with two heavy earrings, you know. <clears throat> so I use these here and there and it's quite self-explanatory because all of this was on um, was in the bead box and here like I said I used um, it was um, I have this th thinner gold colored um, non-branded tiger tail and a clamshell and I got all the four uh, strands into this clamshell and then I I just crimped it off like flat crimped it the way I wanted it and then laid it on so I am <clears throat> very happy with that there's gonna be some uh, cool earrings out of that too and I am um, I actually have figured out that you know when I look at people wearing like statements pieces then then you know and they stop like here <laughs> And I think, why can't you just take it a little bit longer? But then again, these aren't longer than my finger or my hand like that. So so this will just be dainty. If that's the word I'm supposed to use. I have to look it up now. So you can get, you get, you know, this is just halfway up to where, um, you know, the statement pieces that I would like to finish. <laughs> go because they go like here yeah I could take the bust but I'm gonna have to do that in another video because otherwise I wouldn't get this one up not this year <clears throat> and I'm just finishing it up with a, a lobster claw which I haven't um, attached yet and um, and then have it with um, an extender because uh, like I said, I think I will be layering a few of these. I just think it's gorgeous. So these were the um, these were the um, uh, man-made shell beads that was uh, with the box. I'm pretty sure all of those type of shell beads are man-made, but I don't know that. I'm a kind of a skeptic. Skeptic. And then uh, this is just basically me making um making um here i made a you know a, what's it called just made um what what does it call what do you call when you take you take a you take you, you take a head pin or an eye pin and you make a chain you know <laughs> uh, well you can see what i mean at least i think this is really beautiful and I had no trouble using the the butterflies or these. I thought that would be the challenge this time, but it wasn't. I guess I'm used to challenges now because of this. Uh, I wouldn't have known what to do with this before. Not, I mean, for sure. It was just, oh my God, that will look so, you know, like a square or something. But, and I did make the chain. I did finish this one, uh, you know, on the back with this, but since I didn't put in this, I think it, it looks a little lumpy. So, um, let's see. Let's see what you think. <laughs> Please let me know what you think. You think I should add a few, you know, add a few of the, maybe, um, butterfly and a and a flower and stuff and then a clasp or just finish it with chain if I don't do that then it this will be a bracelet with a dangle already done it was pretty <laughs> pretty easy very beautiful colors you know uh, for sure um, this uh, lilac I had a shirt once and I had um, bleached my hair five times to get it to be 
you know, like blonde, I was still kind of like carroty yellowish and <laughs> and um, and I had one of these shirts on and with my color, I mean, I can pretty much pull off uh, any color. I'm not, you know, I'm neutral. But that one with that hair, oh, that was horrible. So, but so I wasn't really thinking I would would be loving to wear this, but uh, I think there's a difference between a little bit of this and me now having my my dark hair again. <laughs> that was, you know, my twenties, early twenties. <laughs> never tried it again. <laughs> never, never, never. <laughs> and then I just made. Um, half and half uh, or color blocking these are not from the box these are these are Czech round glass or drooks or whatever you want to call it it is glass beads that are colored and they are Czech that's uh, you can you can you can make it as complicated as you want to but that's what they are so um let's see here and then, oh, here's that one. I made a mess last time, and I didn't. And then I have another, another one with this, because I had two boxes, so I got two donuts. This was me just playing around a little bit. So this is, I think I have a double. It's not quite the same as, um, as this one. But you know, <laughs> it looks kind of, kind of uh, exactly the same now to me too. Yeah, I see it. But I only I added some, some. Um, these are gorgeous with a little. They're they're uh, purple, but more on the. Um, if you if you have a little. Um, if if you have it uh, a little bit on the more yellow side, if you know what I mean, and then there's a sheen of gold on them. That's really pretty. And then I have just this there, and I've ended it here. So it will be ending with um, a little piece of chain, so it won't be as long as the first one. But I think, uh, you know, I want it over overhead. So you can just throw it on. And since I have chain here, I want to finish it off there. And um, <clears throat> I have put this these two together with a jump ring because I wanted them to be like <clears throat> let's see be like um, that they will go out if you know what I mean but I'm not sure if it will because it's gonna hang longer but that's where my um, added length or or something I was playing with here could come in didn't I just have it here Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> yes, there it is. So <laughs> I was kind of like playing with more of them hanging, but um, but I don't know, is it gonna be too much? Um, yes, I don't like that. It's very nice to look at it on, on the camera here because I can get a different <laughs> perspective and uh, not that way for sure. No, I just, maybe I will have, um, no, and uh, maybe I will uh, let these loose. What do you think, guys? Do you think I should let them loose since it's going to be, going to be quite long? So I take off that, take off the jump ring or stay? That was one question. <laughs> and the other question was um, add on or add on chain. And here to I just you know put on uh, I put it through and then around so just to make you know a, a simple knot, and it ended up being you know going up and forth so uh, back and forth so I put on a, a jump ring to keep these from being the same length. No, <laughs> not to to keep them being same length, not from being same length but to be the same length. Oh, it's a different, uh, yeah, this I pulled from the stash. It is bargain bead box though. But I had it in my stash. I think I have it for another place here, so. 
and this uh, like I said I am totally going to finish off with uh, with chain I just have to find more of this one because that will match with this and like you can see I'm not quite finished but you know I haven't put up a video in so long I just um, I really missed it and uh, thank you all and welcome to the new subscribers and thank you for you people who's been with <laughs> with me you know through this all of this this winter time you know <laughs> I this is an experiment that's gone wrong because you can see it looks like a bow tie <laughs> I saw that last time but I think that if I take these away these are gorgeous together and also and I also like this chain with this one and I made you know like a this let's see if this can be seen without me doing too much behind here let's see so these are um, check glass beads with the with the you know coating on this is a check glass bead and these are some um, bead caps and then just keeping it I was going to keep it simple. <laughs> this is not keeping it simple. But these are actually for earrings. I think I'm just going to put it or take it off right now. So that we can... Because the bow tie look is not what I was going for. So I'm going to have to dig somewhere else if I want it to be fancier. This is, this is something I could do, you know, before I, I knew anything. So I'm really a new, a newbie to this, for sure. I mean, and then I, with, with this, I mean, um, I mean, making jewelry, like, what do you call this kind of jewelry? Jewelry? <laughs> Costume jewelry or something? I don't know. Well, anything was better than the bow tie, so... I'm thinking without that, that these will hang a little bit under like that and that'll be enough of a, of a fancy smashy. What do you think? Or should I really work harder on the design there? You know, I could. I have, <laughs> I have a few left from, from January that I really want to just add a little bit on because you can see that it needs just a little bit more loving and then so another necklace has on fire I had so many so many of these yeah focals so this is not gonna be on here that's another one I want to ask you a tassel or no tassel this would of course then be hanging a little bit more up like that and I would rather have it in instead of this is also something I call more yellowish like the like the like the donuts are um, but I would like it to have more of them if you can tell I will show you um, more of this lavender that is in the silk so I made a mala with 108 beads and these four of course and this one but I knotted it and it's kind of cool because because uh, you can tell maybe you can yes you can you can tell that yeah I have that um, lavender griffin silk knotted in between the pearls and then the um, and then the um, amethyst that we got in the box. And I have a feeling that, you know, I think this would be just as beautiful if I just leave it with the, this one on. Um, then to have a tassel. But I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about it yet. So there's a lot of things here. I, um, I still want to tweak, you know, like... And when, once I start to wear them, which I haven't tried either yet, 
the layering I might be tweaking that too so but we'll see I'm uh, will be happy to have your comments and your opinions matter to me and this I was on a roll with the <laughs> with making the, the beaded chain there you go that's so hard to say and um Oh, these are some bigger, really big, big, nice, chunky potato, uh, freshwater pearls I found in my stash. Um, so this is, this is, um, you know, was it uh, asymmetrical? And I will also finish this one off with the this kind of chain I was thinking. Um, and I think it looks good here and I think it hangs well and then I have a you know this as a as the dangle I don't think that this needs to be filled or or glued on or anything and when it came to this I was you know I was looking for my you know na uh, nail and my hammer my hammers I have <laughs> I nearby but my nails I didn't find until I was done so but I just used um I just used them, um, you know, those uh, ball pins we got, and I, I put it through so you can tell that the ball is <laughs> sitting there, and I just, um, and I just bend it a bit, and then I had plenty of um, of wire to wire wrap it to the next. So that's what I've done all through with those. Worked worked very well for me. And I also put through the tiger tail and then beat it up for up up upwards on double and then made um earrings of it. So <clears throat> that were all of those. I am exhausted <laughs> not from doing it, but that will be my first video because I have a ton of um earrings and stuff too so I think this um, is plenty for me to finish off and uh, I'm waiting for your comments if you want to uh, of course I uh, really appreciate your support like and subscribe if you want to and this is uh, me uh, signing out from Norway yay <laughs>